Let's get to the legislative chambers now. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Badabia Miller, on Tuesday set up a seven-member conference committee that will interface with the Senate on the Electoral Bill 2021 with a view to harmonizing contentious clauses. Also, the House is set to probe the NYSE over alleged advice for ransom payment to kidnappers by core members. Uh, correspondent Grace Ike has this report and others from the Green Chamber. Bill is at the front banner of national discourse as Nigerians, especially politicians, are calling for the speedy passage of the bill. To this end, the Speaker of the House of Representatives on Tuesday announced a seven member committee to harmonize with his Senate counterpart. As follows The committee will be led by Honorable Adeyemi, Honorable Faleke, Honorable Azubugo, Azubogu, Honorable Kalambaina, Honorable Blessing. Onu, Honorable Aisha Duku, and Honorable um, Idem for South South. Again, we will be led by Honorable Adeyemi, and there will be Honorable Faleke, Honorable Azubogu, Honorable Kalambaina, Honorable Blessing Onu, Honorable Idem, and Honorable Aisha Duku. Also at plenary, the House ordered investigation into alleged insertion of the advice for payment of ransom into the National Youth Service Corps containing security tips. This followed the adoption of a motion by Representative Ndudu Elumelu, the minority leader of the House, on the floor. Security challenges in the country are first members, as some of them on their way to respective places of posting, are falling victim of kidnap for ransom. Some have lost their lives to insurgents and other mishaps. The House is concerned that in the last few days, Reports have surfaced with a picture evidence of an embarrassing prov provision under Section 8E, uh, Section 65E of the NYC Security Tips pamphlet. Another important motion that was considered was the issue of bad roads and bridges in the country as a result of rainfall. The Green Chamber called for an emergency repairs, asking the Ministry of Works and Housing to immediately map up the necessary resources to commence emergency repairs on all the worst affected roads and bridges across the nation. And torrential rainfall experienced across the country in the last three months, which has caused severe damages to roads and bridges in different parts of the country leaving behind tales of wolves, despondency, social and economic challenges. Aware that 